Hey guys, it's Stanford here with Frost Updates Now, and today I'm with Team 696 here at SoCal Showdown. We're going to go on over the awesome stuff they got on this robot, a robot they completely rebuilt for championships. They got a really sick manipulator on here, an arm, um, and a pivot powered by three falcons. So I got Lilia, Abu, and Oscar here to help me out with all this, so stay in tune for all that and more with another episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you, and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. All right, so I'm going to hand it over to you, Lilia, first. So take us through what's going on with this intake and wrist. So this is our intake here. Um, we have uh, two motors on it. One is for the pivot and we have one for the intake here. Uh, this is our stationary gear and this is the gear that moves. And um, this is what our old pivot looked like. As you can see, it has a lot of different components and it was very wobbly. And so we did a redesign. Uh, we made our own And um, also for this part here, um, this is basically what we had at first. Um, whenever we were rehoming the grabber, it would cause this metal part to move and we weren't able to intake cubes or cones properly. And so we decided to change that for this, which basically moves around a lot more and it doesn't mess up our grabber whenever it tries to rehome. All right, so if you guys would like, could you go ahead and take us through some of the positions that this thing has uh, on the field, and if you want to show us kind of what's going on over there. So our robot is able to do high, mid, and lows. This is our uh, cube low, or ground intake. This is how we intake cubes. And then high. And there's mid as well. Yeah. And we can also do the same for cones. A ground. High. Mid. And shelf. And our robot mostly picks up from the double human station shelf. All right, so really awesome stuff going on with this intake and wrist. But on the other end of that, we also got this arm over here. So Abu, take us through this arm. OK, so this arm is a telescoping tube um, run completely by belts. It has uh, two stage. This is a first stage belt right here. Um, this belt is connected to the second stage at the um, inside of the arm, if you pull it out. And on the second stage box tube, kind of going in, where the second stage belt is stationary. So it's a cascade on um, belt mechanism. So whenever uh, this belt is pinned by this motor, uh, the first stage also comes out due to the second stage belt being sta stationary right over here. All right, and last up, we're going to have Oscar take us through the pivot going on here. They got a really, really neat looking custom gearbox going on here. So take us through what's going on with this. Yeah. So during Houston, we had a lot of problems with the chain tension and before that. So we realized we had to redesign the entire system of tensioning it. Before, it was just two screws that would just push the entire gearbox over. And that really just did not work as they came undone. So we switched to this screw, which would pull down this whole arm here that actually you to tension it a lot easier and the screw stays in a lot tighter. We had to size up the screw when we uh, from the original design which almost which broke an axle actually and we also added an extra motor from our Houston design to give it more power and be able to hold up the giant arm that it swings a lot easier. 
So it's become a lot more stable and tension throughout the match. We've had almost no problems with uh, retaining tension throughout even whole competitions. We've ne like almost never had to tighten that screw. So what's going on with this kind of dead axle setup over here? I see some kind of custom looking parts over there. So yeah, take us through. Yeah, so from our original design back in Huanimi, before we switched to this design, we had a very short amount of time to redesign our entire robot. So we had to reuse many uh, parts from the old design, which is why it looks kind of wonky, but at the same time, it's all like nice parts that we use for our old robot. And it's very sturdy. It's a D frame we use for the giant A frame we had before. And then we have our, this shaft is solid aluminum. It goes right through. It used to be hollow, but we have bent it in the past from how much force that gearbox exerts. And then it just feeds right into this can coder, which gives us absolute positioning. So we could start the match from any position we need to. Well, thank you guys for taking us through this robot. They got, these guys have been absolutely incredible here at SoCal Showdown. So thank you very much, and good luck with the rest of your competition. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you, and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.